Crazy World Events Channel. Today on Crazy World Events Channel we will talking about ocean sunfish. Also known as Mola Mola. Some of the largest bony fish living in our world's oceans. Why call Mola Mola? It is Latin for millstone, which the fish resembles because of its gray color, rough texture, and rounded body. Another name also called sunfish. Because the baby larva mola are said to look like a sun shape. So they give her a name sunfish. The largest species, mola mola, is considered the largest living bony fish on our planet. If you're thinking there's no way they can be bigger than a whale shark, remember sharks, whale sharks included, have cartilaginous skeletons. In recent years, advances in technology have seen more and more videos appear containing amazing footage of divers swimming with all manner of creatures never before seen. You won't believe your eyes when watching this giant sunfish faced by divers. The mola mola, or sunfish, can grow as big as a pickup truck, and can carry up to 40 kinds of parasites. We encounter this mola mola in Bali who was trying to get cleaned by one of us. Divers come face to face with giant sunfish in rare encounter, it is an unforgettable experience in the deep. This is a mola mola, behemoths of the sea, that despite their prehistoric looking size, are actually one of the youngest species of fish in the world. Massive two-ton species of the world's largest bony fish is finally discovered after hiding away in the ocean's depths for centuries. So they don't count as bony fish. Ocean sunfish can reach 10 feet in length, 13 feet in height, and weigh up to 2 tons. That's about the weight of an SUV, or a giraffe. However, not all ocean sunfish reach these gargantuan sizes. For example, the slender sunfish isn't known to attain lengths of over 3.3 feet. There are currently 5 described species of ocean sunfish, though it should be noted that the most recent species, the hoodwinker, was described only 2 years ago as of this recording so the species number could change with more information. Ocean sunfish are also known as swimming heads. It's an apt nickname because these fish look as if their rear half was cut from their bodies, leaving just a head swimming through the water. These goofy looking fish boys are found in all temperate and tropical oceans around the world, though it's believed they migrate towards cooler waters in the spring and summer to follow their prey of zooplankton. Ocean sunfish also eat algae, small fish, squid, crustaceans, brittle stars, and jellyfish. They especially love jellyfish. Ocean sunfish have a beak-like mouth, and they don't chew their food. Instead, they'll push their food back and forth through their beaks to break up their prey, and then swallow the smaller pieces whole. Plastic bags floating in the water that can be mistaken for jellyfish are a threat to ocean sunfish. Accidental ingestion of this plastic waste can lead to suffocation or starvation. Think of the ocean sunfish and try to use reusable bags whenever you can. Ocean sunfish might look like they would be poor swimmers with their floppy little fins, but they can get around. Remember, they freaking migrate. Actually, they might migrate vertically throughout the day too, like a nautilus. Ocean sunfish are generally known as surface-dwelling animals, but they dive deep to search for prey during the day. They may also dive to escape predators, which can include killer whales, sharks, and sea lions. 
After these deep dives, ocean sunfish return to the surface to warm up in the warm rays of the sun. They can even breach themselves like a great white shark, jumping out of the ocean and slamming their bodies back onto the waves. They do this to dislodge parasites from their skin. Ocean sunfish are often hosts to many parasites, so many that even their parasites can have parasites. While they swim on the water's surface, ocean sunfish may even allow birds to pull parasites from their skin. They'll also enter reef environments and give other fish a chance at the buffet living on their skin. Fish like wrasses and angelfish will happily eat the parasites from the ocean sunfish's skin. This tends to be why ocean sunfish are seen in reefs, otherwise they're found in the open ocean. It's likely ocean sunfish have so many parasites because they're relatively slow-moving animals, though they are able to reach speeds of 2 miles per hour. To be fair, I don't think Chester could run 2 miles in an hour, unless there was a large plate of food at the finish line, so they'd have him beat. Little is known about ocean sunfish mating, but it is currently thought that they are closely related to pufferfish. Like pufferfish, the larvae of ocean sunfish look like little spiky balls. As they grow, they develop into the swimming head shape and lose their spikes. Their tails, which are obviously a bit different from other fish tails, are hard rods that act like rudders. Supposedly, these gentle giants can live to be more than 100 years old according to Animal Diversity Web, but there is still a lot more research that needs to be done before we can be sure. An enormous ocean sunfish caught by Macmillan at Santa Catalina Island. April 1, 1910. Its weight was estimated at 3,500 pounds. Please subscribe and press the bell if you enjoy my video. More video is waiting for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy my video.